So hello everyone and welcome to Neukölln in Berlin. So this is the area where I've been staying on my trip to Berlin. It's a really fascinating part of the city in the southeast. And right now I'm on Hermannstrasse, which is one of the principal avenues in the area. So it's a very diverse bit of the town. It's quite a Turkish area, but also quite Arabic. So it's got a good mix of shops and bars and things like that. It's very vibrant, it's got a lot of life, a lot of young people. Yeah, I just want to have a bit of a walk around today and discover it and explore it a bit more. So what I'm doing now, I'm walking straight down the Hermannstrasse and hopefully I'm going to get to the Hermannplatz, which is a large square that is a focal point for this part of the city. So yesterday I was doing sightseeing, walking around the centre of the city and today I'm slightly more off the beaten track. But I do like doing that, seeing the main sites and then also going to neighbourhoods and just areas where the locals go to see, you know, what's off the beaten track. Just coming to the end of Hermannstrasse and now coming down to Hermannplatz. So yeah, you can see the adjacent areas are Kreuzberg and Schöneberg and Mitte means the centre or middle of the city. Yeah, so you can see there's quite a lot of graffiti in Berlin on the buildings. It's a very busy city and this is a very busy part of the city. Just arrived at Hermannplatz at the end of Hermannstrasse or Hermann Street. Yeah, but this is kind of the center of Neukölln, I would say. So very busy square, lots of shops, lots of restaurants, cafes. On Hermannplatz they've got a big Karstadt, which is a big department store, a chain department store that they have in Germany. It sells lots of different things like clothes, toys, shoes, things like that. Damen Morden, old school women's clothes shop. So it's Saturday today. Yo, 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 that's the Hello. Yeah, so there's obviously quite a lot of people out and about shopping and making the most of the city. Lots of bakeries. You see that all over Berlin, lots of bakeries. Very popular establishments, the bakeries here. So this is the start of Zonenallee. It's quite a famous avenue, literally Sun Avenue. Yeah, so a lot going on here. I think this is also a hub for transport. A lot of trains and buses change here. So I don't know if you can see the pedestrian crossing. We've got the green man. This shows that we're in the former East Germany because they've got sort of this funny green man. It should change to the red man, surely. If I can hold on long enough. Yeah, there we go. So they've got their own style on the East side. Thank you. Yeah, so it might be a good time to get a coffee. The weather's really nice. This is about the sunniest day I've had in Germany so far. It's about 23 degrees, nice and warm. And right now I'm walking down an avenue called Kottbusser Dam. So this is one of the main avenues that leads off Hermannstrasse. Yeah, so it's a very vibrant area lots of restaurant shops and um, a lot of Turkish cuisine. Lots of cafes and shops, but especially Turkish establishments, Turkish bakeries. Wow, looks good. Lots of uh, sweet foods. Yeah, so it seems like it's a really cycle-friendly city. We've got these scooters as well, which you can rent out using the app. Yeah, so you get a lot of doner kebabs in uh, Berlin. Really interesting street food. Really good flavors. So the doner kebab is, I think, 
yeah, I don't know if it's more popular than the Currywurst, but it's one of the most popular snacks in Berlin. Yeah, and I think the Donner Kebabs were actually created in Berlin, if I'm not mistaken, by Turkish migrants who moved to the city. Yeah, so it's a really nice snack. If you're in Berlin, it's a must. Just walking down Hermannstrasse, I've just gone past Bob Street or Botstrasse and got this nice little park, nice green space. So there are lots of parks in Berlin, it's a very green city. I can see some people playing Patonk, which is quite a uh, Parisian scene. Yeah, so it's good the sun has finally come out in Berlin, so we've got a bit of good weather now. I think we're heading into the area of Kreuzberg now and you can tell that we're going towards the center because you can just see the TV tower right in the far distance. Just on the horizon you can see the TV tower just saw yesterday on Alexanderplatz which is a big central square. Here we've got a supermarket, Edeka, one of the main supermarkets in Germany and got another Turkish restaurant here. Got some shops, internet cafe, wow. Yeah, so I have seen a few internet cafes in Germany. It's so cool that they still exist. Nail bar. And I think that is a coffee shop. Yeah, that's a coffee shop. Quite a traditional German style, I think, there. Torben. Yeah, so the street food in Germany is really interesting. They've got such a good variety of food here. So, there's a lot of Lebanese, Turkish, Arabic, Italian. The variety is massive. And on the whole, it's quite an affordable city. I've just stopped at this traditional German cafe called Tobin. I've got myself a white coffee. And this thing is called an Apfel Krapfen. And it's basically a apple and cinnamon donut that is very typical from here in Berlin. I'm gonna open it up and show you. Yeah, so look at that. It's got nice filling inside with apples and raisins and things like that. Yeah, so this is my last day in Berlin and I'm heading back to the airport in about two hours time. So it's been such a great time in Germany. I've really enjoyed it. And being in Berlin is such a joy. It's an incredible city with a really vibrant culture. And the thing that has struck me about it is just how open it is. It's really multicultural, it's really friendly. It's a warm sort of receptive city. So everybody feels kind of relaxed here and it's easy to feel at home, which is great. So I'm gonna drink my coffee now and try my app for Krapfen. It's been amazing being in Berlin, I've really enjoyed it. So thanks for watching, I really appreciate your time. Take care and bye.